Okay, first off, there's some pizza in the back, so uh, feel free to eat it. The bathroom is in the back on the left door. Uh, this is our 419 edition listening party for the fifth time. Afterwards, we're going to put all of these songs on Bandcamp in the new um, in the new album itself. We've had 18 participants this time. I, I, tonight, we're going to be playing 12 tracks. There were a few artists. Despite two weeks of um, you know uh, advance notice, um, they just weren't unable to turn it in today. But they're going to turn them in hopefully in the next few weeks. And as we get those tracks, we'll put them on the Bandcamp album and keep uh, sharing and sharing, just adding updates. So if your song doesn't cover today, don't fret because it's going to be on the album. And we, like, like again, we'll share it. But so today is an opportunity for you to um, say, you know, express why you chose a song that you chose and. You can give a little bit of input on why you uh, decided to put the spin on it that you wanted. And the other way, we're going to just like celebrate one another. And I think Marshall is going to be our MC as far as what tracks are going to be played. So, thanks. So, Under Substance is up first. Can we go to the stage? Yeah, yeah, if you want, like, on the red button, you want to push the mic, I mean, the button, and just kind of talk about... I'll pull your track up while y'all are giving us the... What's up, guys? What's up? All right. Yo, so we chose a song, uh, Impress Your Parents. <coughs> I don't know, it just really resonated with us. The lyrics are really cool, um, like the vocal melody, and it holds a lot of room. There's a lot of room for solo, like, to just to play around and be silly, you know? So that's why I chose it. Yeah, for me it was between uh, either Daryl Licht or Impress Your Parents. I would just, uh, as soon as we got near her, I dived into their discography and those were the two that, one, I liked and I was like, okay, maybe I can see us doing something to this. So we ended up agreeing on Impress Your Parents and it took us a few weeks, but I'm happy with what we came up with. So hopefully you guys are too. What do you know? Oh, Narrow Arrow. Oh. Shout out to Cody. <laughs>
my fucking god. That slap, boy. Oh my god. The guitar work in the middle is wild. And oh, just so, so you guys good. know, uh, I think my, Tom uh, Tom does a uh, open mic pat podcast with Richard Swartz. He's gonna uh, do a uh, he release on Monday or sometime next week. And there's a few reactions of some of the tracks, and uh, that's one of the tracks that we give reactions on. So be sure to tune in and uh, oh, yeah. share. Oh, I'm gonna have to check this out. Is out. So. Okay. Oh, it's me. It's Cornerhouse is next. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. Marshall, the future. Uh, yeah, that's, oh, of course. Yeah. We knew we had the kiss scenario. Still on? Yeah, you, you might turn the switch, though. Oh, yeah, there's a button on it. I think it's still on. Oh, yeah. All right, we're still on. Uh, so we got Madison Lang. We chose the song House Plants. Her stuff is a little more droney and mellow than we normally play. Although sometimes we make stuff more mellow in the covers, but that obviously wasn't going to work to just do the same thing. So we made it a little more upbeat and a little more dynamic, but it was really fun. I don't know what Tom has to say about it. So Madison's stuff is a little more droney. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it was fun. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Don't oversell it. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, okay, yeah, we wrote it one way and then completely scrapped it and did it a different way. And, and scrapped parts of that. And then scrapped more of that on. and then did some more stuff to it. And I, I it was fun. <laughs> yeah. it we like it. Woo! <laughs> Oh, 
you guys, if the bird's too loud, I can put her in the back. I, I like her. Like, I like, like thumbs up. Wait, really? Yeah, she's she like, No, she loves music. Is that yeah. she likes it? But if it's like interrupting, so let me know. I don't mind putting her in the back. So dive bombs are nuts. Okay, more to say. Alright. She loves drums. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, I'm Tom. Um, so, dive bomb. That's what I'm doing. Uh, we had, what was, Dutch oven. We had Dutch oven. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Dutch oven play before or listened to them in any capacity. Um, but they sing about um, interesting things. Uh, and Jake didn't necessarily want to sing about those interesting things. And so we decided to mash a couple covers of them because we figured, uh, this is Jake's idea, they are missing out on a massive opportunity to cover a song uh, by Weird Al called Amish Paradise. Um, so we decided to mash both of those together. <laughs> uh, Dutch Oven and Amish Paradise. And so, uh, Dutch Oven Paradise. <laughs>
Sarah Goff got us, but we didn't really have anything out and ready to be covered. Yes. So this time next year, we'll have a whole, you know, whole set of stuff. So Sarah covered Eric's stuff from his previous band. So anyway, Other Bug, and uh, the name comes from, we all made solo music together, and then we started getting together and kind of learning and teaching each other what we know about music theory or lyric writing or music out whatever. So uh, the Other Bug thing is kind of a genre for us, like drop down box. Pop, bluegrass, whatever. I would be other folk, you know, the folk and some other. <laughs> uh, so anyway, and if y'all ever want to come and jam it at my place Tuesdays, we just jam and hang out. What time? It's all day then. Like, I, I Tuesdays are music days for me. Okay. So and, and typically in the evening, it's usually for my ex mother in law cooks dinner. <laughs> um, so we usually have food, and then yeah, we just jam, and then we hit record for an hour, and just kind of catch up. It's 
Wow, that was very good. Mike Dash, is he real? We still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he plays everything. He's he plays it all. He's like Rick and Mitchell. <laughs> that was pretty good for us. <laughs> I think it's eight arms. Like two years ago, he did like a series on his um, his art Instagram page of when he did um, portraits of all the uh, Mainsford musicians, like the trio, the touch. Well, he's like, he loves what we're all doing here. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. Drew, you're up next. Ace Grimwood. Ace Grimwood. I'm going to need Ace Grimwood to the stage, please. Yeah. Explain yourself. I'm going to have to explain myself more afterwards. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. I'm Ace Grimwood. Um, I'm relatively new to the music scene and I appreciate being able to be a part of this. I, uh, I got dive bomb to do my cover on, but I mostly do, I mainly do country parodies. That's what I do. So I think we'll have a first with this as a parody of a local original. Now, the original song by dive bomb is called What Dreams May Come. My version is called Wet dreams make it come. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. I heard some musical themes that I heard in some other kind of uh, non sequitur places. So uh, this is Satan's Pantry. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, that's the one we were talking about, the uh, Magic Girls like, theme. It, like, it has an anime feel to it. Uh, <laughs> like Sailor Moon. It's, you know, like, <laughs> all right. Uh, is anybody from Dutch Oven here? I'll, I'll speak with you. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm technically in the band. Yeah. <laughs> Please introduce yourself and what your function in the band is. Who, uh, who did it get Sarah Goff? Yeah. Uh, it, I don't know what her song is, but it's called Goats in Space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, as some of you know, and most of you probably don't, I am the horse for Dutch Oven. Uh, if you were lucky enough to see us perform our last show in Columbus, you were also unfortunate enough to see my penis on stage because it came out. Um, we got Sarah Goff, and we decided to do Goats in Space. I was there, but I also fucked up. I don't remember what was going on. So I hope you enjoy. It's Dutch oven. Yeah. <laughs> Good cook, uh, roll dude. And 
and one song in particular called Rose Colored Dream was the cheesy ballad. I mean, it's not, I mean, I mean we're cheese balls. And uh, it just really spoke to us. So we did that one. <laughs> Is it a, a sheath or something? Uh, so, 
just something over. Yeah, I'm shivering up here. It's just nerves. I'm kidding. Uh, so I got Nick Careless. Is Nick here yet? Is he coming at all? No, no, he's not coming. That's all right. I hope he never gets to hear it. Uh, so uh, I have a little uh, company called Bonfire Nation. Uh, and Nick is supposed to at some point put an album out through, it's not a label, it's not a label, don't jinx it, it's not a label, uh, but he's eventually supposed to put out an album, and so this song is on that album that isn't out, so it was really just for Nick, is the, is the guy, I'm pretty sure, hey, you might have heard him play it live, I don't think I ever have, and I've seen him play quite a bit, uh, but, um, I picked it, it's like a 12 bar blues, like George Thurgood kind of like tune the way he did it. And uh, I just did it in an open tuning and it's not, it made it emo as fuck. And uh, <laughs> it, it's, it really is, if you listen to it, it's, you know, it's about buying weed. But if you listen to it, it's really about like, you know, a longing for a person, you know, who supplies the weed. And uh, making that, you know, a little emo and romantic with the 12 bar blues thing. All right, here it is. Gabby, California.
Okay. It's home. My goodness. Yeah. There's a bird chirping. Yeah. It's a good open. <laughs> so um, we need to hear everyone's covers tonight. There's about six more people who are going to submit them, hopefully in the next two weeks. So if your if your um, song wasn't covered, don't fret. We're going to put it out there. Um, but we didn't want to postpone this any, any longer. So, Chico Brother and Foster Kids, we had the uh, privilege of um, covering Magna Boxes. And um, I'll let them speak, but all I want to say is I decided not to sing in this track. I wanted Eli to sing, and I wanted to focus more on keyboards and auto harp. It's about smoking grass as well. <laughs> Allegedly. Hey, you know, you guys sounded awesome, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, I, I just adore these two. Um, of course, Aurelio is a good musician, but he's really a mix master on the recording, so he kind of like cut and paste everything. Um, and I don't, uh, Nick Celery had to work today, so he couldn't be here for this event, but I think Pete is here from the Magna Boxes, and I hope you like it. So I don't know, maybe he left. <laughs> We're excited too. This will be the first time we've actually heard it. It's called Skunk. Tune in to uh, Tom Hurst's uh, Open Mic Podcast. You'll hear our uh, vocal uh, of our reactions. Seven times in a row. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to not repeat that, y'all. All right. I just quiet. All right, all right. That's fine. This is, this is totally fine. I should um, listen to that one again. Don't get me wrong. Play it while you play it. It's fake. That's okay. I think my phone thought that it was like. Uh, yeah, I know. Our phones are thinking. They're thinking for us. <laughs> <laughs> I can go for the MC. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Next time for rendition six, we'll have this a lot less janky, probably. What rendition is this? This, this is fifth one. one. Uh, I've been telling people it's 12.
so that concludes our listening party. The six other tracks um, posted on uh, probably this month, hopefully. But we'll have a Bandcamp uh, album tonight, so you guys can share awesome. it and listen to it on your own earbuds and everything. So yeah. Right. And we talked about doing it. Uh, we did it like uh, the first time. We did it twice a year. Um, we're entertaining the uh, thought of maybe doing it in the spring, or not spring, this this fall. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are interested again, or Halloween listening party. Yeah. 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 It's good to have like creative deadlines, you know. So mm -hmm. so hopefully we're aiming for four one edition six in maybe October. So yeah, you guys are down. We are too. Sweet pizza. <laughs> 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 oh my 